Chloe Jennings White spends her days confined to a wheelchair. It's tough to get around, and she struggles with living in a world that isn't built for the disabled. However, Chloe is actually able to walk perfectly, and chooses to live her life like a paraplegic, due to a rare psychological disorder called BIID. Despite wishing she was paralysed, Chloe still takes part in extreme sports like skiing. BIID has led Chloe, a Cambridge University educated research scientist, to harm herself in a bid to become paraplegic for real. I have fantasies about having a car wreck and becoming paraplegic from a car wreck. Perhaps most shockingly of all, London born Chloe is on a quest to find a surgeon willing to operate in order to paralyse her legs forever. I did find a surgeon uh, in, in another country who would be prepared to do femoral and sciatic nerve transections to paralyze my legs. It would be at least $25,000. I don't have the money to do it. That's basically the, the only reason that I've not yet had surgery. For her whole life, Chloe has wished more than anything that she was disabled. From about 10 years old, I somehow got the idea to bandage my legs when I was home alone so nobody would know what I was doing. I sort of fabricated a, a leg brace so that I couldn't bend my knee. And walking around like that felt, oh wow, this is how it's supposed to be. Chloe struggled to cope with her feelings. For a long time, I had no idea why I felt this way about my legs. Chloe only began to get real relief from her condition when she started using a wheelchair full time in 2008. When you have BID, the stress is really intense. The first few friends I told, I, w I would literally be shaking or, or, and crying even with, with emotion. I was not really living a normal life before that. It was always in my mind. It's like, I'm supposed to be paralyzed. But while Chloe pursues her quest to have surgery that will leave her paraplegic, she loves taking part in her favourite pastime, downhill skiing. Skiing is essential to me. It um, carries a lot of benefits for me in terms of BIID. I ski very aggressively. If, if it's a groomed run, I will absolutely go as fast as I can. My friends and family can get a little worried about me skiing sometimes because they know, they know that I ski very aggressively and, you know, they know it's in the back of my mind that, that I actually want to get injured. To deal with the anxiety BIID causes her, Chloe sees psychotherapist Dr. Mark Mellon as often as she can. The problem that I run into is that people make up these fantasies about BIID. Uh -huh. It's like they say, oh, well, you're doing it to get disability benefits. You're doing it to get attention. And then you say, no, that's not it. And then they'll come up with another fantasy of theirs. Uh, so it sounds like just misunderstanding. And a lot of what you're having to do is educate people. About oh, education, yeah. Dr. Mellon says BIID is actually very real. And it's a psychological disorder that people have where they desire to have some sort of body modification, but it's a sense that a person really wants to uh, lose some sort of ability that they have. And like other BIID sufferers, Chloe's illness has worrying symptoms. I have to admit, any time I'm driving, I, I sort of conjure up accident scenarios in my mind where I would become paraplegic. In 2009, Chloe really did crash surviving a horrific 75 mile per hour double rollover. One of the things that was in my mind after the car wreck was, did I do this deliberately in order to, um, you know, be, be paraplegic? I couldn't say for sure at that time that I had not done it deliberately because I, I simply had no memory of that. Chloe's attempts to injure her legs mean many of her friends and loved ones worry about her, like Dave Allen, a hiking buddy. 
it's, it's scary for all of her friends, you know, including myself, that, you know, if she does, you know, she runs a huge risk that, you know, this, that she could die doing some of the stuff that she's done in the past. Despite her love of skiing and the challenges of life confined to a wheelchair, Chloe is still determined to have surgery that will render her paralyzed. When I have that surgery, I, I just know it will be the happiest day of my life.